Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Tonight, a member of the Meade School Board is introducing a proposal to prohibit teachers from discussing critical race theory in the classroom. Vanessa Perez joins us in studio with what's prompting this discussion. Aaron, Meade School Board Director Michael Cannon is opening a dialogue about the idea of removing critical race theory or CRT from the classroom. This comes after Cannon claims a handful of parents within the Meade School District have taken issue with some of the topics being taught within schools. It's a topic that's been fiercely debated across the country and now has made its way to the Meade School District. Should critical race theory be allowed in classrooms? This is a relevant national topic and it's, it's natural for people to wonder how their local district stands and how we're going to handle it. And so I think now is the time to have that policy discussion. Michael Cannon is the director of the Meade School Board, presenting two policies in Monday's school board meeting. One is looking to bar the teachings of CRT from the classroom. The other would ban books addressing gender identity at the elementary school level. The proposed CRT changes would prohibit any teacher, administrator, or employee of the Mead District from discussing ideas that one race or sex is inherently superior to another. The United States is fundamentally racist or sexist, or that an individual's moral character is determined by their race or sex. We asked Cannon if he had any examples of this taking place within the school district. He said the examples were sparse, but these policies are meant to be preemptive. It's not in an issue, to be perfectly honest, right now. We've had isolated cases where parents question some of the content. And so I, I think we just need to have a policy. I think that we need to, to, before it becomes a huge issue, kind of recognize that this is a relevant national topic and it's, it's natural for people to wonder how their local district stands and how, how we're going to handle it. Cannon stressed that no vote will be taking place tonight in either issue. His goal is to begin a civil conversation with the surrounding communities. We called for comment from Spokane Education Association, the NAACP, and the Mead School District for comment on tonight's agenda items, but did not hear back. Those conversations are happening right now. We'll have more on this story coming up on Nightside at 11. Reporting in the studio, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.